also any loads of people have been cheap and Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk to you about skincare um, and I'm, I'm really interested in face mapping um, and what certain parts of the face mean um, in terms of like your internal organs and how they kind of represent the skin on your face. So that's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to kind of break down my um, face using aqua colour in black and just kind of dot out and do a face map for you here so that you can see if you're having problems, if you've got problems on your forehead and you're having breakouts then that's often to do with digestion um, or dehydration so you need to intake um, more water um, also around this area is hormonal um, and the neck is like stress levels so that's what I'm going to do for you today so here we go So I've mapped it out, there's 14 sections of the face. So I'll start with one and three, that's your forehead, so that's your digestive system. So if you're having outbreaks up there, that's because you're eating something that you might be allergic to, um, you're not drinking enough water, you need to hydrate some more. So um, start with um, upping your intake of water, that would be a good start. Now number two is known as your wine and dine area. So basically that denotes your liver. So if you're kind of having too much richness in your diet or alcohol, um, you will break out here. So that's a sign, stop drinking alcohol or reduce your intake at least. So four and 10 are your kidneys. So um, if you're taking too much caffeine or um, and again you're not hydrating yourself enough you could get hot ears or dark circles around six and eight so around your eyes so if you're having too much coffee this is what can cause this um, bad circulation around the eyes so you need to uh, reduce that a little bit also moving on to five and ten which is your cheek area is your um, lungs so if yeah lungs and sinuses so if you suffer with sinusitis or hay fever or anything like that that can cause outbreaks across five and nine um, also if you're smoking that's not cool that's what will create pimples and spots around this area then all around this section here like along the, the lower jawline and across the chin is um, like number 12 is your reproductive um, system so it's all kind of hormonal around this area number 13 and 11 are your ovaries so also I've drawn this circle around the mouth area if you get spots around the upper lip um, that denotes your small intestine um, and the lower is um, like your colon so if you suffer from IBS or yeah any kind of you know colon issues then you'll have outbreaks around the lower lip so that's it so that's kind of like the whole face um, there are so many remedies um, and skincare that we've got available to us from kind of on the high street to like high branded stuff i also think that don't sort of push aside making up your own remedies like there's so many amazing things and i think if you look after yourself inside it will show on your skin so make sure you're eating the right foods kind of adjust your diet a little bit try and reduce your sugar intake that also has a massive effect on your skin increase your water reduce your caffeine I'm never going to give up tea, I love tea, but I do kind of have bouts where I won't drink coffee and I'll juice a lot. Um, I, eat, I do eat fish, I'm a pescatarian, um, but I don't eat meat. Um, and I, But I replace that and make sure that if you're kind of cutting things out your diet, i.e. meat or anything like that, that you're replacing it with other foods. For me, I eat a lot of lentils and a lot of green iron rich foods. Um, yeah, so 
I hope that kind of gives you a little bit of insight other than me looking crazy with like drawn on numbers all over my face but I'm really intrigued by it and I think that there's so much to to sort of learn about the skin and I think it really does come from within so if you kind of look after yourself and what you're eating and kind of cut out processed foods like McDonald's and Burger King all that kind of stuff KFC um, I just don't feel like they're real foods so there's so much sugar in all of those foods you shouldn't hidden sugars that we don't know about so I know it is it feels like a little bit of a you know like a little bit more drama to prepare your own food and stuff but honestly it does go a long way and you will kind of reap the benefits of good skin so I hope this has been insightful don't want to sort of push anything onto you I'm not telling you to be a vegetarian or to totally like radically change your diet but just be aware of what you're putting in because obviously it's going to come out so and if it's coming out on your skin and you've got problems that you want to address then maybe look at that first and then think about little remedies that you can make up i know that if you get i do this myself get an avocado get it out of the shell smash it down into a bowl you'll see the oils coming out which is amazing put all that all over your face leave that on for 20 minutes it's such a good natural remedy costs like what 80 pence to do it um, so it doesn't have to be expensive for you to look after your skin and drink more water um, i hope this has been helpful let me know what you think give us a thumbs up please subscribe because it means so much to me um, sorry i've kind of been off the radar i've been a little bit busy but it really means the world to me that you watch these little videos and i hope that you enjoy them and if there's anything that you want me to do for you leave us a little comment down there i think down there yeah down there all right i'll see you soon take care bye